good morning children i hope you have seen the previous constitution right everyone and the uh, previous constitution also in the previous videos also where i have discussed about the qualities of a good constitution and the constitution of uk right in this video i am going to give you in depth about the constitution of usa and india as well clear so let's start with this now what is the constitution of usa now us constitution remember children it is a very rigid constitution article 5 of the us constitution lays down a difficult method of amendment it reads the congress whenever by two third of both the houses shall deem it necessary shall propose amendment to this constitution always remember the very first initiative is taken by congress or on the application of the parliament of two third of the several state shall call a convention for proposing amendment or in fact the states or legislatures too can demand the changes in the constitution which in either case shall be valid to all intents and purposes as part of this constitution when ratified by the legislatures of three fourth of the several state or by conventions in three fourth thereof as the one or the other mode of ratification may be proposed by the congress so i'm going to explain you in the simplest form ki what is the constitution of usa all about see if we see when we analyze the provision of article 5 we find that amendment proposal in the us constitution has to pass through two stages proposal stage and a ratification ratification stage further there are two alternative method of making proposal and there are two alternative methods of ratification the amendment proposed by either of the two method has to be ratified by either of the two method of ratification the congress decide as to which mode of ratification is to be adopted in respect of a particular proposed amendment in simple word we can say that amendment in the constitution require first proposal by a two third majority of two houses or by a constitutional convention and secondly ratification by three fourth states of us federation clear everyone so i hope so you people have understood by now what is the constitution of usa right everyone the constitution of usa right it is very rigid according to the provision of the article 5 the constitution has a has to pass through two stages proposed and ratification stage there are two alternative method of the proposed and ratification stage respectively the congress decide as to which mode of ratification is to be adopted proposal by two third majority of two houses and by constitutional conventions ratification by 3/4 of the state of us federation to this way a constitution of america can be amended and who can raise the federation this everyone knows who can raise the amendment in the constitution let's see now now two stages is the proposal stage and the next stage is the ratification stage now what is the proposal stage any proposal for amending the us constitution can be made in two alternative method amendment proposal can be adopted by two third majority vote by the two houses of the us congress each house voting separately or amendment proposal can be adopted by a constitutional convention which may be summoned by the us congress when two third of the state legislatures may make such a request clear everyone so i hope people have understood ki what is the proposal stage again i repeat here the first stage is what amendment proposal can be adopted by a three two third majority vote by the two houses of the us congress clear each house has to vote separately amended proposal can be adopted by a constitution convention which may be summoned by the us congress when two third of the state legislatures may make such a request clear everyone let's move on to another slide now no ratification the second stage is an amendment proposal which clear the first stage goes in for ratification right there are again two alternative method of ratification it can be done either by legislature of 3/4 of the state legislature or by special convention in 3/4 of the state of the us federation the us congress decide as to which mode of ratification is to be followed in a given case however till today all the amendments have been proposed by the first method that by two third majority in each of the two houses of the us congress and all except 121st amendment have been ratified by the first method that by 3/4 of the several state legislature 
clear here some clarification needs to be mentioned children here you have to clear now what two third majority of both the houses means the passing of the amendment proposal by two third majority of the member present in each house of the congress acting individually it does not mean two third majority of total membership of two houses in a joint session an amendment proposal which successfully passes the two stages does not require presidential signature children they do not require any signature of the president while sending an amendment for ratification by the state the congress fixes the mode of ratification it can also fix the time limit within which the state have to give their verification verdict actually if a state ratify an amendment it cannot withdraw its approval at a later date however if a state first refuses to approve the proposed amendment it can later on revise its verdict and ratify the same right an amendment made in the constitution clear everyone an amendment made in the constitution can be rejected by the supreme court in a judicial review this is done when the supreme court finds the amendment unconstitutional right now let's move on to another slide now two constitutional barriers to amendment of the us constitution or two barriers means two problems or restrictions now there are two constitutional limitations on the amending power of the congress and the state the provision regarding the equal representation of the state in the senate cannot be amended the provision that the boundary of the state cannot be changed without their consent these two provisions can never never be amended children again i revise the provision regarding the equal representation of the states in the senate cannot be amended and secondly the provision that the boundary of the state cannot be changed without their consent these two provisions cannot be amended clear everyone let's move further now now limitation on the amendment method now what are the limitation on the amendment method now just see beta now see a slow and a rigid process method of amendment is a highly lengthy process clear everyone now if you see lengthy it in two stages i already explained you it consume a lot of time it is a difficult method its rigidity becomes evident from the fact that only 27 amendments have been made as far possible see children in american constitution we have like in indian constitution we have almost 101 amendments right? right in us constitution they have only 27 amendments so far not fully democratic in the absence of any provision for direct popular popular referendum on amendments or for proposal of amendment by the people vote the system is not fully democratic then each state whether big or small has an equal role in the process of an amendment any combination of 38 small states can make an amendment effective conversely 13 small states can defeat any amendment right then the congress dominate the process the congress the president and the supreme court acting together or separately can conspire to enhance the power of the central government at the expense of the state unless the state can find a way to change the constitution without national approval they can be doomed right the congress has been given the power to initiate the process of amendment the state can be at least request the congress to summon a constitutional convention for proposing an amendment the congress decide the mode of ratification and fixes the time limit for ratification hence the us congress unduly dominate the amendment pro amendment process right next however the constitutional maker regarded the process of amendment as the best right like if you see medison declared the constitution was neither too rigid nor too flexible clear everyone so this way the limitation limitation on the method of amendment of the constitution is there clear everyone so children i hope so people have understood till here ki what are the limitation on the amendment of the us constitution in practice rigidity of the constitution has not proved to be harmful the change is registered through several other means like conventions congressionals and presidential interpretation have reduced the rigidity to a several extent clear everyone so this is the limitation of the amendment method of the us constitution right children so i hope so people have understood ki what are the limitation on the amendment method of the us constitution theek hai it is a first of all it is a slow and a rigid pro pro process not fully democratic right uh, undue importance to small state the congress dominate the process clear everyone so this is what limitation acha next we have the uh, okay this way we have come to the end of the video now so in the upcoming videos i am going to explain you children about the indian constitution it is a partly rigid and a partly flexible method of amendment of the constitution clear so till then i have already explained you on, on, on the limitation of of the amendment method of the of the us constitution children
clear everyone so the and and plus before that if if you see if we go for go to the previous slide what is it all about right just see uh if you see the constitution of usa it is very rigid according to the provision of the article 5 the constitution has to pass through two stages proposed and ratification stage there are two alternative method of the proposed ratification stage respectively the congress decide as to which mode of ratification is to be adopted proposed by two third majority of the two houses by constitutional convention ratification by three fourth of the state of us federation so this i have already explained right children then they have to pass through two stages usa constitution then amendment proposal can be adopted by two third majority vote by the two houses of the us congress it can be adopted by constitutional conventions which may be summoned by the us congress when two third of the state legislatures may make such a request clear the ratification stage the second stage legislatures of three fourth of the state legislatures write special conventions in three fourth of the state of the us federations the us congress decide as to which mode of ratification is to be followed clear everyone then we have constitutional barriers two form of constitutional barriers of the us right the provisions regarding the equal representation of the states in the senate cannot be amended the provisions that the boundary of the states cannot be changed without their consent these two provisions cannot be amended clear children then we have the limitation on the amendment now so if you see the method of amendment is very very high lengthy process it's two stages consume a lot of time it is a difficult method its rigidity becomes evident from the fact that only 27 amendments have been made right in the absence of any provision for direct popular referendum on amendment or for proposal of amendments by the people vote the system is not fully democratic clear then if you see each state whether big or small has an equal role in the process of amendment any combination of 38 small states can make an amendment effective right conversely 13 small states can defeat any amendment if you see right and then if you see here the congress dominate the process the how their process the congress the president and the supreme court acting together or separately can conspire to enhance the power of the central government at the expense of the state so i hope that till here you people have understood what understood the us constitution its its you know its limitation its stages clear so do listen to it this video attentively you will get right thank you so much children